It's a drastic step for these wildlife vets, yet carefully dehorning this white rhino could save its life, with illegal poachers posing an increasing threat to these wild animals. Last year, this province of South Africa lost more than 200 rhinos, compared to 162 in 2016. Despite appearances, though, the process of dehorning is meant to be painless. Dehorning is, is, rel is, is no, really not much more worse than cutting your own fingernails. Um, there's no nerve sensation when we cut the horn. There is obviously some vibration when we use the chainsaw on the nose, and that in itself can stimulate the rhino slightly, but it's not a pain stimulus. There's little to no pain associated with it at all. There has been an international ban on rhino horn since 1977, yet that hasn't stopped illegal hunters. More and more rhinos are surviving attacks, yet they could still require treatment for gunshot wounds or deep axe or knife wounds. In recent years, a record number of rhinos have been killed in South Africa, with their horns ending up in Asia, in particular Vietnam, where they're used for unproved medicinal purposes. There's always speculation in terms of the value of rhino horn on the black market, and, and, um, and we know that the, the price seems to be very high. So if, if a poacher is going to take the risk uh, for a small piece of horn, it means that there's obviously the incentive is there for them to do it. A rhino's horn does grow back though, and the dehorning process must be repeated every year or two. While rhinos use their horn for feeding and social behaviour, dehorning done humanely has not yet proved to be detrimental to their quality of life.